Before we get into today's story, I feel obliged to say this one is not for the faint of hearted. None of my stories really are to be honest, but this one has to be the most horrendous and abhorrent cases I have ever seen, so you have been warned. There also isn't a lot of information on this story, and is somehow pretty much unheard of, um, but I will explain it in as much detail as I can find. Cheers. So this story is from the Czech Republic. Clara Morova and her sisters were from Karim. According to the people closest with them, the sisters were heavily religious and would often tell people that they were born to carry out a divine purpose in the name of God. Clara was married and went on to have two children named Andre and Jacob. In the beginning, she was said to be a good mother who was frequently seen playing with her two sons. But her bizarre behaviour ended with the father of the children leaving her with the two boys. Clara from a young age suffered from schizophrenia. Without a providable source of income and overwhelming loneliness, she asked her sister to move in with her. Barbara Shreklova, a 33 year old, became friends with the sisters after they met at university. Barbara suffered from an illness that caused her to appear much longer than she was. People frequently mistook her for a child. Barbara used this to her advantage, posing as a 13 year old girl named Anika. Often pretend to be a child when she was in trouble with the law, which saw her getting away with crimes scot-free. Barbara ended up moving in with the two sisters after she told them that she had escaped a juvenile centre due to mistreatment. The two sisters believed she was 13, felt sorry for her and let her move in with them. Barbara's father was the leader of the Grail movement a cult which originated in the 1940s. They expressed the concept that by doing good things, their members may enter heaven. They did, however, believe that they were free to commit crimes and were absolved of their sins due to being in the cult. Shortly after the sisters met Barbara, they also joined the Grail Movement cult. Barbara would often become enraged when Clara paid such close attention to her children so she began to cause mischief that got Jacob and Andre into trouble. As they were now cult members, she was instructed to punish the children how they saw fit. One of the cult leaders, only known as the Doctor, communicated with the sisters via text message and advised them to practice cannibalism, sexual deviancy and incest. Andre, who was only eight and Jacob nine, was subjected to a barrage of abuse by the three ladies. The two boys were placed in a basement cage and kept there for a year. They were stripped naked and given nothing to sleep on. The boys were tormented, beaten, sexually assaulted and starved. They were burned with cigarettes, electrocuted, scratched with forks and whipped. They were also forced to cut themselves. When they weren't in their cage, they would be handcuffed to the table and forced to stand for days. They quickly decided to force feed the boys in order to make them gain weight. The woman pinned Andre down and cut his leg whilst he yelled and pled for mercy. The raw flesh was consumed by the three women. They treated Jacob the same way, even forcing the boys to eat their own flesh. Basically, eating themselves alive. This abuse went on for a year, until early May in 2007. The abuse was discovered by accident when a neighbour's television baby monitor picked up graphic videos from the scene. Clara had set up a television system in another room so she could witness the abuse and keep an eye on the boys. The neighbour saw on video Andre naked on the floor with his wrist tied behind his back. The boys were rescued after he called the police. They also rescued another little girl, Anika, who claimed to be their 13 year old sister. This was obviously Barbara. Barbara managed to escape to Norway where she assumed the identity of a 13 year old child named Adam after she shaved her head. Luckily, she was apprehended by police eight months later and once all of them were arrested, they began to turn on each other. Clara admitted to abusing her children, but she claimed that her sister and Barbara manipulated her and brainwashed her into doing so. Barbara claimed that she was innocent and that the sisters had tortured her as well, but of course the court did not believe her. While the three women were members of the Grail movement, they appeared to have split off and started their own cult, according to authorities. 
The objective of the torture and abuse, according to prosecutors, was to break the boys and enslave them for religious purposes. All three women were found guilty. Clara was sentenced to nine years in prison, Barbara was sentenced to five years, and Clara's sister was sentenced to ten years in prison. They will all now be out. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any other information about what happened to the two boys, but I hope they are happy, healthy, and they have found peace. Thanks for watching.